What's up, everyone? I'm Michael Hogan, a.k.a. RC Addict 420. Welcome back to 865 RC Mania. And as you all know from watching my previous videos, out at Rock Racing this past weekend, we had the 11th Annual Tennessee State Championship. And let me tell you, it was a huge turnout. Upwards of 460 entries, an absolute fun fest. Giggity, giggity, goo. So anyways, y'all, this past weekend out at the 11th Annual Tennessee State Championship at Rock Racing in Knoxville, Tennessee, we had a huge turnout. Like I said, huge turnout. Friday was practice. Saturday was the qualifiers. Three rounds of qualifying, five-minute runs per race in each qualifying round, followed by the mains on Sunday. It was a double-A main event, and oh my God, were they such fun, long days. It was awesome, absolutely awesome. Unfortunately, Friday I woke up not feeling well, didn't have any energy or gumption to really do anything, so that's why I didn't go live on Friday, y'all. And Saturday, I tried to go live. I didn't have the Wi-Fi signal I needed to go live with the GoPro. I tried going live with my phone for about 25 minutes, and then my selfie stick actually broke the part that holds my phone. The clamp on top snapped off for some reason. We don't know what was wrong with it or why it happened, but it did. So I stopped the live after about 25 minutes, unfortunately. And uh, qualifying, I did... Fairly decent for the most part. I've qualified about middle of the pack out of 60 sportsman e-buggy drivers. I was right around 30, 33 in that range pretty much all day long. Um, I raced the spec slash and qualified in the 12 position. And my son, unfortunately, his transponder didn't work. Um, we just bought a, a faulty transponder and it just didn't work and he didn't get any laps counted towards him for qualifying. Uh, my buddy James Keaton hooked us up with his transponder for the mains on Sunday and then his servo gave out. So he was unable to finish the mains on Sunday due to the servo issues. Um, I qualified in the D main for Sportsman E-Buggy. Sunday, I was able to finish in the top two in the D main, bump up to the C main, where I made some stupid mistakes, got caught in some traffic, and got knocked out of Sportsman E-Buggy for the day. Spec slash, however, I fared a little bit better. Like I said, I qualified in the 12th spot. I come in for the first of the two A mains, and I finish seventh. The second of the two A mains, I finish sixth, which gave me the sixth overall place. And at the Tennessee State Championship, our podium finishes are one through five and the TQ. So I was one spot off the podium in my first ever spec slash race. So that was pretty cool. But I got the qualifiers on video. I come home Saturday night and I go to plug my GoPro up to get everything uploaded and whatnot and my GoPro completely crashes. I had to get a hold of GoPro to figure out what we could do. I tried resetting it and that didn't work. I got a hold of GoPro. They led me through some troubleshooting, got it reset to factory settings and it fixed the issue. However, I lost all all the footage from Saturday so unfortunately I don't have any footage from the qualifying rounds or the practice round on Friday I do however have the sportsman e-buggy second a main the spec slash second a main and the second a main for novice class so with that being said y'all here's the video giggity giggity goo <laughs> Cody on the three, Dakota on the four, Dylan Petty, Chris Ryan Smith, Cameron on the Dakota six, Burnett, Travis Chris Pierre, Aubrey Zachary, Cody Langley.
Yes, I'm going to have 50 seconds remaining. We're going to work into the rumble strips. Second place now, we're going to do the rumble strips. Miles and Trevor, we're going to have space now. We've got Fred, the three, the four, Jason, five. Jason Griffith done. Trevor Michael done. 